Okay. Why do you keep opening Twitter? What is this? Five. Oh. And yourself? Almost. Nine. What does it feel like to be 95 and 89? We don't feel our age all right. at all times. We do at certain times. Mm -hmm. We each have certain issues, but we're lucky to be walking mm -hmm. out under the sun on a day like today. If you look at the 20 Whenever I today, see old something people you don't like about that are super fucking clear with their speech and they're really old. I just think yeah. the person must be like very smart or like actively engage their brain. I don't know if that's actually true. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It they, is. They, have, they, do, they have to do things. You ask them what his hobbies are and stuff. Like you, you would really, you, what do you get up to? Like what you, them. But I think yeah, life that. is more difficult today for younger people than it was when we were young. In what True. sense? In every sense. I, I don't think there is concern about tomorrow oh, as we were. Oh, they're both so smart. We thought of the future. Well, I don't think they care. They just spend. The if you could go back in time so quick. and give That's advice why. to your like, younger what? self, what advice would you give to him and her? Try to be as positive as you can because tomorrow is going to be a better day unless you make it a worse day. Is there a cherishable item that either of you have that you've you. kept with you throughout the years? One or another. One or another. <laughs> Yeah. 64. Oh. <laughs> it's the beginning of starting to feel old, I think. What is one thing that when you were younger, you put a lot of importance on, and as you've gotten older, you realize wasn't actually that important? It's when you're young, you have sort of an ambition because you have a lot of years ahead of you, and you think you have time to develop something. As you get older, your ambition gets lower, and mm -hmm. you become more relaxed because of that. Is that a bad thing? Is no. I think you're, you know, when you're young, you're supposed to be ambitious. So. Uh -huh. It's just changing with age, you know? And if you could go back in time and give one piece of advice to your younger self, knowing what you know today, what would you say to him? Don't really take things as seriously as you should because over the last 30 or 40 years, I've, I've had a lot of my friends die, you know, get diseases, accidents. You don't know when it's going to end, so yeah. relax, yeah. enjoy life. How old are you? I am 64. What does it feel like to be 60? Like, advice you would tell to your younger self? Yeah. Always, always 79. What is one so thing that when you were younger, you spent so a lot real. of time worrying about, oh, yeah. I mean, and you, as you got you older, you can feel it even now. Work. Like, if you could go back and tell your 15-year-old yeah, self yeah. something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. you feel it. So, like, they feel it on a much larger... When I was younger, I worried a lot about finding love in my life, enduring love, whether I was actually capable of that, whether I was living with someone or married to someone that didn't work out. Then we're together 30 years, so we came together fairly late in, you know, in midlife. And yes, it was that important. And as you get older, it gets even much more important. Well, companionship. We're together 32 years, but we've known each other for 50 years. You might have had a child together. That would have uh -huh. been awfully nice. If you could go back in time knowing what you know he today and give then. your younger self one yeah. piece of advice, what would you say to him and her? You'll only regret in life things you didn't do, not the things you did do, even if they didn't turn out. Just as you have. Right, yeah. How old are you? Like old and like well Dude, yeah, like, well, like uh, okay, so, so, so th th like this is the stuff that tilts me, by the way, is because, like, there's no way these are RNG. Like, these are just the oh, best, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. shaped you or oh, help you learn a valuable I lesson. Know is, like, Not taking risks Canada, and pushing like, myself out of my comfort zone. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. more experience. You are willing to so take young. risks Holy and shit. push yourself out of that fear. Not doing that earlier is probably one big lesson I learned that that's the best way to grow. Not so much big mistakes, but I think when you get opportunities, take them and do things, both in career and personal life, so that's what I would say. If you could give a piece of advice to anyone younger than you, what would you say? To take advantage, you know, when you're given an opportunity, take them, take a few risks, and enjoy your work as well as your, your uh, personal life. Yeah, work-life balance, I think, is the big key. I think, you know, particularly when you're starting oh, out, you're graph. working like 18 hours. Graph. All right, here we go. G2 have to climb an almighty mountain right. if they're going to make it back into this series. Really Standard really bands again. G2 on the blue side really again. Really oh to be my there. god. So on our uh, I don't know. I, I think that their B1's going to be very telling about where their mindset is. The adjustment here, the Azir, banning away Faker. I think, I think the plan. 